Okay, and welcome to TED Summit Asia. Today, we have a programmable communication innovator interview with Manjit Singh, who is the CEO and co-founder of Buddy for Study. Now, I first met Manjit back at TAD Summit 2015, five years ago. Time really does fly. He presented the Telestax keynote. Now, this was really interesting because he was a customer of Telestax, and he was presenting how he was using their technology. Now, then Manjit was the CEO of Elucid Software and Pinig. Uh, his presentation was on using real-time communications to get the most from tablets. I was impressed. And have been following Manjit ever since. Today, as I mentioned, he's the CEO and co-founder of Buddy for Study, and we'll be learning more about that today. So welcome, Manjit. Thank you so much, Ted, and it's a pleasure uh, to be here. Thank you. Wow. So let's get straight down to it. So uh, would you please introduce yourself and a little background about your life and career? Sure. So my name is Manjeet Singh and uh, I'm co-founder and CEO of Buddy for Study. I have been an entrepreneur for almost a decade and have started and taken successful exit from my previous two companies that was Elucid Software Services and Pinic Tech. Currently, I am heading Buddy for Study and Buddy for Study is India's largest student financial aid platform. And we are on a mission to ensure that is uh, more and more students from India are able to complete their education because gross enrollment ratio in India is only about 24.5%. So if 100 students are starting education, only about 25 are reaching to a graduation stage. And that is uh, where we are spearheading right now to uh, increase that uh, gross enrollment ratio of India. Excellent. No, that's great. Now, when we first met, uh, as you mentioned, uh, you, you were uh, the CEO and founder of uh, Elucid Software and uh, Pinning Tech. Uh, now, you were doing some really interesting work then around programmable communications. So I'm interested to understand what motivated you to create these companies? Yes, correct. So. Uh, when we m first met, it was like 2015 TED Summit uh, in yeah. Lisbon. And uh, first of all, I mean, so I, I love the event, uh, met very uh, some, some very interesting uh, companies uh, in Lisbon. And that was the time I was running Pinic Tech uh, Private Limited. And uh, the major motive for running Pinic Tech, it, it was the peak of uh, tablet uh, industry or era, uh, I mean, in 2015. And India, so the entire space was booming very fast. Uh, a lot of Chinese manufacturer came into the market. So the tablets were coming very fast, but the real challenge was uh, in standardizing the applications uh, as well as the tablet space. So we created various uh, web RTC uh, based applications for making the communications easier on the tablet. And we created uh, some applications for remotely managing the tablets and we were working with various corporates we were working with various institutes as well as kids tablet so that the entire experience uh, was a smoother experience for the end users that is uh, uh, the students and uh, the young generation excellent now what do you consider during that time some of your greatest uh, successes and failures Greatest success uh, was basically getting uh, an opportunity to meet and work with uh, really great people, team members, investors, and customers. So overall, it was a really great experience uh, for me. And uh, we worked with some of the latest technologies. We worked with some of the, uh, I mean, technology leaders. We worked with uh, Telestacks. We met some various uh, interesting companies. We partnered with at a later stage uh, during the TAD summit. So. It, the, the main, uh, I mean, the success I would say was the people that we met and we partnered and worked with uh, while I was running uh, Pinic Tech. And uh, not really, I wouldn't call it uh, failures, but some of the learnings. Uh, so when we entered into the market, so the hardware market for tablet was uh, changing very quickly. And it was very, very competitive because of the players from China and they were coming up with newer versions of hardware like almost every month. And uh, it was a little difficult for us to, uh, I mean, our, in, in fact, our technology team to keep up the pace uh, for standardizing the applications and the remote communication. 
and we face the challenges in terms of uh, i mean the the pricing also the the pricing which was being done by the chinese uh, players it was difficult to match that but later on uh, we got investment from simtronics and uh, that's basically when we were able to uh, make more standardized product because simtronics started uh, manufacturing the tablets for us also Ah, gotcha. So that standardized platform helped you then rather than having to deal with the diversity problem. So given your experiences in uh, exactly. programmable communications, what advice would you give to Asian entrepreneurs that are looking at CPaaS or telecom APIs or WebRTC, given your experiences with uh, Pinnick? So, I mean, so this is, uh, I mean, as, as we were discussing, so these are, I mean, definitely some challenging times uh, due to the COVID-19 situation and a lot of businesses are facing uh, challenges as well as a lot of heat, uh, I mean, because of this entire disruption which is happening. But I, I truly believe that is uh, there's a huge scope uh, for the mobility uh, in, in the coming uh, few years. And this huge uh, space that is available for programmable communications because the entire way now uh, we communicate is completely changed and uh, one thing that COVID-19 has done is it has created a level playing field for everyone even for new entrepreneurs, new businesses, uh, I mean, new companies that are coming into the space. So whatever the companies has built in the past and I mean so, so they basically flourished but now uh, because of this change that has happened so everything has come on on a same level. Yeah. So there's a lot of new innovation uh, is going to come and uh, definitely a lot of new companies which will come and pick up the pace faster and faster because communication is something which is going to be the foundation for the next level of uh, work communication the how we communicate is uh, going to happen so really really uh, I, I mean i would say opportune times for uh, companies in uh, communication programmable communication telecom APIs, WebRTC platforms, even uh, our company, Buddy First Study, we have already started few projects in which we are working on uh, programmable communications uh, because that's where we see the real future is right now. Interesting. Now, uh, moving to Buddy for Study, what's your vision? What do you want Buddy to study, you know, Buddy for Study sorry, to become? So uh, when, when we started Buddy First Study, so the, the main reason for starting Buddy First Study was uh, I wanted to do something which was more me and uh, which has a greater impact on the society. Because I was telling you, the, the real problem in India right now uh, is education and uh, our gross enrollment ratio is about 25%. So if 100 students are starting education, only 25 students are reaching to the graduation and post-graduation stage remaining 75 uh, students are dropping out every uh, out of every 175 students drop out of the education either because of lack of funds or uh, they had to start getting involved in uh, economic activities for their families or they are not motivated enough so that's where buddy first study came into the picture and now we have created a platform through which we are making uh, finances available for uh, these students so that they can complete their education and in last uh, three years, so we have helped close to about 85,000 students and uh, we have already uh, done a disbursement of close to about uh, $12 million through the platform. And uh, that's, that's, that's the whole idea. And now uh, due to this COVID situation, uh, now we have seen that as the students from the EWS uh, category, that is economically weaker section, are facing much larger problems in continuing their education. And that's where... Now we are working on programmable communications. We are working on few new apps so that we can connect these students from the EWS community with the mentors, uh, with the uh, with, with the trainers, teachers uh, through uh, I mean our platform so that they can continue their education and don't have to drop out because they are not able to uh, go to school. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, again, right time, right place to help the uh, EWS segment. So that's the uh, amazing impact you're having there, Manjeet. I guess just wrapping up, how have your team, how has your business coped with the uh, COVID-19 situation? So COVID-19 again has uh, definitely created uh, challenges for our business also. 
that is we 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 primarily work with the corporate csr funds and uh, we help them in connecting to the uh, students from the ews community the needy meritorious kids so that they can actually continue their education we work with the uh, institutes and uh, universities and helping them out to reach out to the right students uh, and help them uh, uh, i mean connect uh, with with the connection so with the covid uh, so the the profits of the uh, these companies is going to shrink so the csr budgets will definitely going to take a hit and even the students are not going to university so that's a separate challenge yeah. but again we we see a lot of opportunities uh, also uh, in the coming times because what is happening is uh, now the students even are facing a larger problem in co uh, continuing their education so that's where we want to make uh, a higher impact and we are working on uh, i mean various applications right now that will be soon uh, will be launching probably in another another 15 to 20 days we have created a lms uh, in that lms so we have uh, added certain uh, real time communication we are working on web rtc applications through which the students will be able to connect to the teachers and teachers will be able to take uh, some doubt sessions uh, some some regular sessions uh, will be taken then we are also connecting them to mentors career counselors uh, so that they keep uh, their motivation level high and they can continue their education is the is the agenda and when we are connecting so we also want to ensure that is their end to end encryption is available so that uh, security features and all are uh, taken care of and we are building a lot of uh, things on top of it in terms of chatting in terms of uh, uh, sms communication whatsapp communication so that students are continuously connected and uh, engaged with the platform oh wow that really is an impressive uh, both vision and just practical application of programmable communications and keeping students in the ews segment sort of motivated and studying so again congratulations and i wish you the best of fortune in the future manjeet